My name is Philip Smethurst. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the uh, University of College London at the Institute of Neurology. I've recently published a paper on a protein called TDP43 and its involvement in ALS. ALS is uh, one of the most common forms of motor neuron disease. It's a devastating condition that leads to muscle wastage and eventually death. Currently we don't actually know what causes all cases of ALS, but what we do know is a certain way the disease behaves. So for example, um, we know that ALS has a very common start site of where the cells start to die, so an epicenter if you will, and then this death starts to spread from cell to cell. For my research, I'm looking at a protein called TDP43. TDP43 is found in all cells and it normally has a very healthy role within the cell. Now, what happens in patients with ALS is that it becomes abnormal. The protein is misfolding, so changing its shape, and this leads to a clumping of the, of the protein that's then found in the resulting cells in patients with ALS. To begin investigating how TDP43 might be involved in the disease, we actually had to look at another disease called prion disease. Prion disease gained notoriety back in the 1980s and 90s for the mad cow disease epidemic. Prion disease is well known for having these clumps of protein uh, or the prion protein deposited in uh, the patients with prion disease in the brains. So that's one key feature that we already have with ALS. Uh, another key feature we're also looking at is that the, in prion disease, these clumps of aggregated prion protein will actually move from cell to cell. So in order to find out if the TDP43 protein is behaving like in a similar way to a prion protein, we decided to investigate this by taking the brains of patients with ALS. The one we did is we extracted this abnormal TDP43 and then we added it to cells that were healthy cells that are expressing large amounts of this TDP43 protein. We saw that slowly over time that the abnormal TDP43 was influencing or corrupting the healthy TDP43 if you like and uh, remarkably the actual the clumping that we're seeing in our cells was identical to the shapes of the clumps we were seeing in the patients with ALS. Once we found out that we could reproduce the clumping of TDP43 in our cells, we took these cells, extracted the, this abnormal TDP43, and then we added it back into cells expressing healthy TDP43, and we found that this clumping process could speed up dramatically, and this would, could happen again and again the more we did it. The third thing we discovered was actually when we used our cells with TDP43 clumps in them, we also mixed them with other cells and left them for a period of time. We actually found some of those clumps were appearing in the new cells, so therefore we're showing that TDP43 clumps can actually spread from cell to cell. Okay, so the final piece of the puzzle was that up until now, we'd been using a kidney cell line, but what we wanted to find out was, the, was this clumping process damaging to motor neurons. So we used cells that like motor neurons, and we did the, repeated the same steps as before, and we found that this process was indeed actually damaging to these cells and was killing them off. As a bonus, we discovered that there was actually smaller clumps of this TDP43 protein, and we think these could actually potentially be the toxic species in our cells, and uh, this will be my next line of inquiry now to find out if these species are indeed uh, the toxic species.